money. <laughs> Jungle's back. JR Pro Shop vids. As you can see, the whiteboard, nice and clean, no marks on it. And to use it, I use the Bufa solution. The stuff works on everything, not just bowling balls. Thanks, Bufa. Bufa solution. Today we'll be discussing the rule of 31. What does it mean and how can it help you shoot bigger scores? So before we get into the rule of 31, we're gonna introduce the graph. Uh, so first of all, you can get these graphs on Kegel's website. Uh, every pattern they have, they have it right there. Everybody can go see. Three main things you wanna take away from these graphs. Volume of oil, length of the pattern, and the ratio of the pattern. The first thing we wanna know is the length of the pattern. You'll see it here at the top left. The second thing you wanna know is the volume of oil. Most patterns are around 24 to 25 milliliters. So you wanna take a look at that as well. So I would say low volume would be 17 to 18 milliliters and high volume would be 28, 29. And the last thing you wanna look at is the ratio on the pattern here at the bottom, right? You take the outside number, inside number, boom, there you go, four to one for root 66. So the rule of 31 works in tandem with the length of the pattern. So right here, we have root 66, 45 feet. So we're gonna take that 45 feet and we're gonna minus 31, 14. You want your ball to exit the pattern at 45 feet at 14 board. As the longer the pattern gets, as you can see, the break point's gonna move closer to the head pin. And that's exactly what you wanna do. The rule of 31 is just a rule. It's the starting point. It's not the end all be all of where you need to play the pattern. So using the rule of 31, it's a great place to start. It's gonna save you a lot of time finding a line, finding a break point, finding the ball you need to throw. So today we're gonna demonstrate the break point, the rule of 31. We've got two different styles today, Simu and Jimu. We're gonna throw a few shots. We've got 37 feet and 45 feet here. We put a piece of tape down on the, on the break point so you can watch your ball hit it, miss it left or right, and we can see what happens. Two completely different styles, one-handed, two-handed. So we'll be really be able to see where their ball hits. Should be at the same spot, but how they get there is gonna be a lot different. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Lots of ball reviews coming out. Lots of information like this. Let's get to it on lanes with Simu and Jimu. Hey guys, Simu here on the lanes. Uh, we're gonna start off with a short pattern, Broadway, 37 feet. So you'll see that we have a green piece of tape there. I have my pitch black with me. All right, let's try to go right over that green tape. Hopefully throw a strike. So urethane, uh, really good for playing straight on these shorter patterns. Like to keep your angles a little bit tighter. Money. So now I'm gonna switch balls, move left, and still hit that same break point. Switch into my IQ Tour Nano Pearl. So that shot there, you could tell I missed the tape by a little bit. Couple boards inside, but I'm in a good spot, and that's what I really like to see. So I'm gonna throw one more with the IQ. Okay, saw a couple good hits there. Missed a little bit in, went over it a couple times. I'll throw it over to my brother now. Let's see how he attacks later. g -moves here. I'll be throwing the pitch block as well. Let's try it out. As you see, it was a high strike, four went late. So maybe we can get a flush strike with this. green tape that time, bit to the right at the break point, and that's just what we wanted. Moving on from your thing, idle synergy. As you saw in our previous vid, I love this. We we're testing the oil pattern ratios. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right up there. I'll move 10 boards left, but still try to get it out to that break point of six. Pretty good shot there, but missed just a tiny bit inside. It seems like on this pattern, it's giving us a bit of hold in the mill, which is really nice. <laughs> oh, hit it. Got out to the right point. Just shows that playing on the outside with the urethane ball might be a bit favorable as opposed to the reactive. How about we move on to our longer pattern with Simu. All right, so Jacob just threw his shots on the short. We're moving on to route 66 here, 45 feet. I have my B 
big trusty proton physics, big ball to try to get me through all this oil. So being a stroker, definitely lower rev, lower speed. Um, it's kind of weird for me inching left, but really like this proton physics. These colored pins are not are not uh, sanctioned, they're not regulated, they're not whatever it is, but I don't know. <laughs> I was a couple boards right at the break point, but I'm okay with that. I really like how that ball went through the pins. So I'm gonna move over to the Omega Crux now and play a bit of a different line. Definitely expect it to be a little bit sharper than the Proton, not as early. So I'm gonna move a couple boards left, still keep my speed down and try to get the ball back to the pocket. Okay, so I like that ball. Gonna move maybe half a board left, keep my speed down. Hopefully this one gets through better. Not the best release, but I'll take it. Pretty close to my break point. That was the Proton Physics and the Omega Crux. Needed all the help I could get there on the long. Let's throw it over to Jimu, see what he throws on this. Jimu's back here. So I'm gonna throw the Axiom. This ball is very controllable, very smooth for me, and it's pretty strong as well. So it should work pretty well on this longer pattern. Pretty good shot. I swung it out a bit too far to the right, but it's okay because of the rev rate that I have, it was able to round the corner. I missed right? I felt like a really good ball off the hand, down the target, hit the break point, and snapped into the pocket. To play this inside line, I'm gonna throw the Storm Parallax. I prefer throwing this ball pretty slow because it has a great reaction off the end of the pattern. Okay, we played a really, really inside line. I'll throw one more, try to hit the proper break point, and hopefully it'll strike. Oh, that's slow. <laughs> but anyways, we were able to throw it pretty slow, keep that inside line, hit the break point down lane, and snap to the pocket. Sounds like we threw some pretty good shots. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. As Please. You Please. <laughs> as we post weekly bowling videos with new ball reviews and tips and tricks as well. But our question for you today is, do you use the rule of 31? Do you believe it works? Yeah. Do you? Do you? I don't know. Back to Jung. <laughs> We're back from the lanes. Simu and Jimu threw a bunch of shots. We can really see the break point, how their balls react and come off the end of the pattern. Just one thing I want to touch on. So they started by hitting the break point down lane uh, with the ball they think they should use on the pattern. And then we missed a little bit left, right, changed balls just to see what else we had out there. And as you can tell on the long, a little bit right of the tape, a little bit right of the rule of 31 was, had the best look. So maybe instead of 14 break point on the 45 feet, it was 12 and that looked better. So as you can see on the short pattern, well not short, 37 feet, uh, break point is supposed to be six with the rule of 31, but we found that missing a little bit left, break point seven, eight, seemed to work a little bit better. Great starting point again, but we had to adjust a little bit in for the ball to go through the pins the right way. So you can see Jimu and Simu, two different styles, different bowling balls, different layouts, different everything, different path to the break point, but they still are aiming for that same break point down lane. So Simu asked me if I use the rule of 31 when I travel and bowl tournaments, definitely. Uh, I look at the graph, look at the pattern, figure out the length and use it to start in warm up. Right? It's always the place I start with, rule 31. So a little tip of advice if you want to help visualizing the break point, maybe get the mechanic at your lanes to put a piece of tape at 35 feet, 40 feet, 45 feet, just so you can see what that looks like from the foul line. Because just looking at it from the foul line down lane, it's really hard to tell exactly how many feet is where. So here at Lucky Nine, we don't have the hash marks down lane. So we were able to put tape down lane at the break point. So if you have those hash marks on the newer lanes, great, those are awesome. 
always there, never move. It's a great way to visualize it. So in my experience, the rule of 31, it's never off by more than a couple boards. There's only a, been a couple instances where it was like a 45 foot pattern and the break point was like five board, which is just a complete outlier. So the rule of 31, I trust it within a couple boards. So I think you should too. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, stay tuned, a couple new storm balls on deck, a couple new hammer balls, and let us know down in the comments if you want to see G-Moon Simu do anything else. Thanks for watching.